I'm Dr. Jayashree Sharad. I'm a cosmetic dermatologist and your skin expert for the day. We've already discussed about acne, how does it happen, why does it happen. So today, I'm going to tell you a few tips and tricks to prevent acne or to treat acne and also bust some myths of acne or pimples. Keep watching. So if you're suffering from a lot of blackheads, a lot of whiteheads, pus boils on the face or what you commonly call as pimples uh, or you know large nodules or cysts these are all various forms of acne so if you have any of these uh, it's very important to use a cleanser twice a day now choose the right kind of cleanser use something which has salicylic acid or glycolic acid in it salicylic acid um, basically will unclog all the pores and it will remove the cell buildup which is there inside the skin and therefore it um, prevents further development of uh, acne and blackheads and whiteheads. So, but it, you should also remember that you should not use it for more than two times in a day because you do not want the skin to get too dry else there could be inflammation and infection. Remember not to touch at your pimples. Do not squeeze out those blackheads or whiteheads that you have. Do not try to do cleanups on your own. You know, that's another very important thing. The moment you're touching it, remember that we all have bacteria in our um, fingers and our, on our entire skin. So you are introducing the bacteria into the pimple out there and the chances that this uh, pimple or blackhead or whitehead gets infected and becomes larger and then of course increases to the periphery is much much higher the second thing that you're doing is you're damaging the deeper layers of the skin when you're picking at it so when you're doing this when the skin heals you end up with a blemish or a mark or a scar so never ever pick at your pimples or try to do cleanups on your own you can do cleanups but go to a hygienic parlor or even a skin clinic and get all your comedones or blackheads or whiteheads extracted. It's important not to massage the face when you have acne or pimples. This whole action of massaging, whether you are using a face wash or whether you're using some kind of a product on the skin or a pack or anything, remember that when you're massaging, you're stimulating those oil secreting glands, the sebaceous glands. This will produce more oil, it will secrete more sebum and lead to more production of those whiteheads, blackheads and pimples. So that's the second don't that you must remember. You have to remember that stress causes a lot of acne. So it's important not to kind of take stress over little, little things. Why have I uh, you know, got a single pimple out there? Uh, tomorrow I've got a party, so am I gonna look good? Am I gonna get a pimple? If you're gonna think about that, you will surely get a pimple. So stop thinking about it. Stop thinking about your skin. You know, instead of that, focus on other things, take care of yourself, eat healthy, sleep well, do not stress. You know, if you want to meditate, if you want to listen to some good music, exercise, do some aerobics, these are various ways of removing or de-stressing yourself. So keep watching, leave your comments here, subscribe to us, and you can follow me on Twitter. My handle is at Jayshree Sharad. Thank you.